it's easy to overlook the magic sometimes. This was a cast-off plate, a supporting piece. It wasn't supposed to be anything. I had been so blocked for four months. I was creating from need and not joy. But in a moment where all I saw were flaws, something sparked, and I knew exactly how to save it. just working on a print, brayering out some paint. I mean, this part's going to go really quick. Throwing down some leaves and just really just playing and experimenting. It was kind of like, eh, it was all right. It left some impressions and taking an egg carton to create something kind of cool. But this little plate, that was just a cast off plate, a tool used to get some black paint onto the main print in different ways was left with all this grunge on it. You know, here's the pull. I figured you'd want to see this because you saw me build it. Why wouldn't I show it to you? But this isn't the focus of this video. This print right here, as cool as it is, turned it into some really neat stuff, some cool coasters. This is a story about this little cast off plate, this little plate that was really not any focus at all. I thought, well, that's kind of some cool grunge, so let's not let that go to waste. Let's just throw down some oxidized yellow and some blue and maybe a leaf. Let's see what we can do. Maybe we'll, Maybe it'll be something, maybe it won't. It probably won't. Just throwing down this interesting shape, which ended up pulling up a little bit of paint. Taking a piece of drywall tape from the garage and just ever so slightly adding a little tiny bit of pattern to the side, not overdoing it. A little bit of white paint, that was it. There really wasn't anything there. There was zero expectation. I was trying to get through a creative block, added just a piece of, you know, cardstock down just to take this pull. It was just a piece of scrap, just like everything on the plate, just all kind of trash, right? <laughs> and then taking this plate and after this major session of taking all these prints, this is what I got. Totally imperfect. Look at all those fingerprints. I mean, there's like nothing there, right? It's kind of trash. So I roughed up the edges, just kind of like that leaf, a little bit of Stabilo All pencil to help kind of lift it up out of the background. Get rid of some of those fingerprints that were kind of messing it up, just working at it and working at it and adding a couple more layers down a little bit more, bring the veins up a little bit. And here is where it started. It was literally nothing. And it turned into this, this amazing piece. I had to add a little bit of, you know, textured gold. Why not? Seth Apter, uh, wow powder. I love that stuff. But because everything was so grungy and so kind of broken and worn, I didn't want it to be perfect. So once you get that down, take your finger and knock some back, make it feel very organic so that it adds to the piece, doesn't take away from the piece and look at it. Still, you know, at this point I hadn't actually done the veining. You can see all those fingerprints still in the upper part, but the gold, look at that gold texture. Wasn't supposed to be anything turned into a masterpiece. A very special card for a good friend. Want to learn my secrets to perfectly layered prints that you can take up in one pull? I have two special prints that showcase this beautifully. Click right here and I'll meet you for the first step.